Yo, hello guys, my name is Mighty Max, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are going to be making Asta's Grimoire Holder Baby. Let's go. It's super easy to do as well, like, I thought this was going to be a big build. It's pretty simple to do, and uh, if you guys have seen how to make my Grimoire already, definitely, definitely, um, just, I want to say thank you. And also, if you haven't made it already, check it out in the description below, because you will not be able to make this... Just Jesus, like, how, how good, how good is that? It just looks great. Anyway, you won't be able to make that unless you've made the Grimoire. So, guys, I highly, highly suggest, unless you already have a book of your own, make sure to check out the link in the description for how to make the Grimoire, which is what is being held by the Grimoire holder. You guys, like, you just have to check it out. It's got, like, five and a half thousand views, and it's dope. Thank you guys so much for that many views, by the way. I love you all. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> so, first off, we're experimenting with some different lighting today. I'm just using my, uh, my blind, and it's yellow, and it's making me look quite yellow today, so... Thanks, I guess. Anyway, if you think something looks a bit off about me, that's probably what it is. Uh, just the light is quite yellow today, but try not to be too uh, distracted by that. Anyways, guys, let's go through the parts, shall we? It's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, I'll have a diagram up on screen. To be honest, I'm not gonna uh, say, like, go down the description to get templates for this one. But I will say, though, very quickly, if you want to go in the description below, check out my Patreon, guys. The first two people to subscribe to my Patreon will get a free cosplay prop. But it has to be something that I've made before, otherwise I can't guarantee you the quality. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the first two people to subscribe to my Patreon uh, for this month will get a free cosplay prop. So hopefully you guys will have some incentive to subscribe to my Patreon. Whew, I just had to sprint up some stairs. <laughs> God damn it. On top of that, guys, by the way, I should probably mention, um, the other incentive is that all of my templates are uploaded on Patreon. So if you want to subscribe to my Patreon, you get all of my templates for free. You get more of me and you get more of my Patreon. You get more of everything. You get more, you get free templates. Like you pay a fiver a month in dollars. <laughs> you pay like a fiver a month in dollars and it only costs like three pounds in the UK. Guess what, baby? You get all my templates for free after that. For the month. How nuts is that? Like, you've got cosplayers out here, or, uh, you know, builders, trying to get you to pay, like, £7 per template? Are you joking? I'm gonna sell all my templates for free if you only pay £3 or $5 a month. Subscribe to the Patreon, guys. <laughs> That's where you get all the templates from. But for this video specifically, there will not be a template. And here's why. There will be diagrams shown and maybe a template type thing, but it's not necessarily like a... It's not a template that I'm going to sell or anything like that. Um, it's simply a diagram just to show you how to put it together. Because when I made this video, uh, I recorded everything. Swear to God. Swear down. <laughs> I recorded everything. But guess what? My phone corrupted two files, and it happened to be when I glued this together, which really sucks, and it also happened to be when I cut out these pieces. However, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll show you in the diagram how it's all put together anyway. It's pretty simple. Okay, guys, so let's go through the material list. We're going to have one sheet, at least one sheet, of black foam mats. You just need one, though. You just need one. But um, I'll have a link in the description for almost everything on Amazon in the description below. You need EVA foam for this. And um, you're also going to need six. Six. I'm not joking. Six pieces of uh, brown EVA foam. So the brown craft foam, shall I say, uh, is pretty much available anywhere. But I just couldn't find it on Amazon for some reason. And uh, I would also suggest looking for some A3 brown foam sheets because I had to use A4 sheets for this and this job would have been a lot easier if I had A3 size sheets <laughs> because as you can see there's an unwanted seam here I did try and cover it up and make it look like it was intentional but it really isn't um, I had to make a seam around here on the bottom because uh, my A4 pieces of foam wouldn't go all the way around but if you can get an A3 piece I would highly recommend it 
Um, and also your belts, for instance, you could make out of only two A3 pieces instead of getting like six A4 pieces. <laughs> I can't talk today, okay? One addition to the parts list. I almost forgot this. <laughs> or two additions. You're gonna need a belt. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> I, you're probably thinking, why didn't you just stick with the belt originally? And I know, I know. The thing is, is that the whole entire uh, grimoire holder is made out of foam and I was like, why would I want to make this, you know, keep the belt the same if I could just cover it in foam? So I did. The reason I covered it in foam, again, is just because this is covered in foam too. I want the aesthetic to look the same all the way around and I don't want people to see that I've just bought a belt, you know? I want them to think that I've made it because I did. So basically, I bought this belt, it was super cheap, it was like a fiver somewhere in like the range in the UK. Um, and on top of that, I just got some uh, thick foam, coated it around the edges, and then got some brown foam, coated that around the edges as well. And then here you have this. Pretty awesome. The reason I bought a belt as well is because, as you'll see, there's a belt buckle, and it's pretty handy to have a pretty sturdy piece, you know, that especially it's gonna hold, if it's gonna hold like a book and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's got some weight to it, like, it, it does have some weight and it needs to be sturdy. So, um, basically, what you need a belt for is not only the belt buckle, but for the sturdiness of the piece, because otherwise it's just gonna fall apart and you can't, and you're gonna hate yourself. That, that, that's actually it. So, <laughs> yeah, I bought a cheap belt, and uh, I also decided not to change the belt buckle because uh, because why why would I when you could just use the belt buckle that's already on there. Cool. And uh, on top of that, guys, you're also going to want to get some metallic markers. You could use spray paint, but I think spray paint's probably more expensive. Just buy a bronze metallic marker. That's what you need. All right, guys. So for the rest of the video, just follow along with what I do, and I'll be there to help you guys out whenever you... Uh, need me uh, if you think that there's something that I've missed or something I'll most likely be here in the bottom right corner of the video so hopefully oh it's gonna be this side <laughs> um, whatever whatever bottom right corner or something like that one of the corners of the video I'll have a face cam and I'll be talking to you through any bits that I think I haven't shown uh, very well so let's do it shall we so to start off the build you're gonna need a big piece of foam as you can see on screen and on the screen I've cut out a piece of foam which is almost the same size as the book but two inches bigger on the sides then as you can see I've got like a maybe inch inch and a half of a gap at the top and that's on purpose because as you can see on Aster's grimoire uh, holder his his book sticks out just slightly just slightly so uh, that's what I did on mine too, and I think it looks pretty damn awesome. Okay guys, so you need to cut out the big piece, and then you're also going to need to cut out two side pieces. Uh, so on the diagram you can see these two side pieces, they're basically a rectangle, which I then rounded the bottom off of, and that's it. That's all I did. Alright, now that you've cut those two pieces out, or three pieces I should say, that was four. <laughs> Once you cut those three pieces out, <laughs> you then want to coat it all in leather. Huh? Leather you say? I thought, I thought you didn't mention leather at the beginning. No, we're turning our foam into a leather look foam, and it's going to look great. So, guys, make sure that you watch this part because it's really important. If you don't have your leather look foam, it's not going to look right, I promise you. It would look 10 times better if you tried to make your foam look like leather for this project. Okay, so to turn your foam into a leather look, it's pretty easy actually. All we need to do is get some tin foil, crumple it up, and then re-flatten it so it should have this texture along it. Then you want to get an iron, make sure that it's hot and make sure that you're doing it on a safe surface and make sure there's no holes in your tin foil. If there's a hole in your tin foil, the, your iron is going to go through and it's going to heat up the foam and it's going to stick and you're going to ruin your iron and it's going to suck. Okay? So just don't do that. 
make sure that there's no holes. Then just go over the foam with the tin foiler on top of it with the iron. And essentially it leaves this nice shiny leather look pattern which is randomized because you just crumpled up a piece of tin foil. And that's it, it's really, really nice. Uh, if you're American, aluminum foil. I gotcha, I gotcha bro, um, sick. Um, that's pretty much it actually, that's all you need to do to make your foam look like leather. It's a really, really easy, simple trick and it can boost your, your pieces and it will make them look so much better and it's like, it could go from like a 5 out of 10 to an 8 out of 10 just by making it look like leather. It's crazy. So that's a good tip for you guys, make sure that you do that. Okay, once you've done that, you simply want to grab your foam pieces, uh, your thin ones, and you want to coat your two side pieces and your main big piece of foam in the brown leather look foam. And the way that I did this is that I put super glue around the edges of the foam and then glued it around it and I made sure that it wasn't going to go anywhere because, um, you know, I didn't want air bubbles and stuff. And I also used like a spreader of some kind just to spread the glue, make sure it was pretty evenly dispersed. Otherwise, uh, the, there's going to be air bubbles and it's going to it's going to look a bit strange. So just make sure that when you glue it down, you glue it down and you first off you do it safely because it's super super glue but also just make sure that you do it evenly so that you don't get weird marks and bubbles and stuff I can fly 
So once you've done that and you've got your pieces coated, this is pretty simple. You now just want to make a little latch. Now this latch is basically just one small piece of foam that I folded in half and glued together. And there you go. That's the that's the latch that goes around the back here. Um, I'm showing it to you like this because unfortunately uh, my my video got corrupted for this piece, so I'm sorry about that. But essentially, I just cut out this little pattern here, this little piece, and that goes on front of the latch. It opens up. You've got Velcro. That's something I should have added to the list. Sorry. Um, and essentially, you have this little latch here that goes over, clasps down, boom. And yeah, it's just a folded piece of foam. And I think I actually left this like a foam piece instead of leather, just just for looks, just to kind of spice it up a little bit. But basically, um, it's just it's just a foam latch that goes over. It's really nothing special. And again, it all depends on the size of the grimoire that you have. But you know, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And uh, I will say now that you may not be able to see it clearly, but it is actually connected to the back of the grimoire holder. But the thing is, is that it's covered by another foam piece which latches over the uh, belt. So just keep that in mind, it is there, it's just covered by another piece of foam. Okay, so once you've got your latch made, then you can glue that on to the back of your foam piece and then glue your entire grimoire together. So again, I'm gonna show you with a diagram uh, that this is what it should look like. So you've got the uh, latch on the back, which is just glued to the back there. It goes pretty far down as well, just to make sure it didn't come off. Um, and then you've got your your foam. You want to make sure that the two side pieces are glued together with the main piece and make sure that your book fits into it as well before you fully glue it together. Otherwise, you're going to get a bit stuck. <laughs> and wait for your glue to dry as well before you put your glue in there because you might get your book stuck in there. Nice. Okay, so once you've got your grimoire holder pretty much together and it's it's glued, then you can start on your belt. Okay, so for the belt, I simply just grabbed some of the uh, brown foam and I cut it into strips, which I then coated around the black foam. Now the black foam is simply just, it's just like a rectangle piece. It's super long. It's the same size as the belt actually, and. The cool thing about that is that it covers up the belt, so nobody's going to know that you actually have a belt on underneath. So you want to make sure that the uh, foam piece is actually a little bit bigger than the belt itself. As you can see, it covers like a bit more than the actual belt because you wanted it to be thicker. That's why I made it like this in the first place. You want it to be a thick belt. Thick boy! So yes, you want to make sure that it's got like at least an inch maybe half an entry the side of the belt, and uh, that should be good. Then, once you've made your uh, long piece of black thick foam, then you can coat that in the brown foam. So make sure that you cut out those brown foam strips, just the way I do in the video, and then you can super glue it around the, uh, the edges.
Guys, you may notice the uh, sudden little scene change. I have actually moved upstairs now. So in the background, you'll see I got my poster, I got my uh, my foam back wall, I've got my shelf up here that you can't really see in this shot. But essentially, I've moved everything upstairs now into my room where I can get everything made and uh, just do it in you know peace and quiet in my own space. Uh, so I moved everything upstairs, and you may notice that the quality of the footage actually looks a lot nicer. So. Okay, yeah, so here I'm just adding the uh, little belt loop here. Pretty simple. All you need to do is uh, just grab a piece of like A4, uh, A4 foam. It's one whole piece. You're going to want to fold it in half, glue it together, and then uh, you're going to want to make a little belt loop out of it. Pretty simple, and you can see how I do it in the video.
All right, guys, so I had a small bit of trouble here, but I wanted to add Velcro to the latch just to make it stick down, and it was, like, really, really easy and simple. Uh, Velcro is probably one of your best bets for this. So I did, in fact, still use Velcro, but I had a bit of trouble because the super glue ate through the Velcro, and it got stuck to other things, and it was a bit of a trouble. But eventually, it did work out fine, and as you can see, it works. It does work. Okay guys, I'm not sure if I showed this in my video or not, I really have no idea, uh, but I did also make some belt loops. Now the belt loops are totally useless, they're not there for any reason other than to hide the seams, because as I said before, I only had, um, oh there's seams covered by the way, by the <laughs> that seams covered by the belt loop, and then you just got a couple of uh, extra belt loops here, they're simply to cut just to hide the seams, so they're not really useful at all. They're just there to hide seams to make it look like it's one whole belt. So I added those at some point, it might have got corrupted, but I added those just as a just as a tip. <laughs> In the video I'm actually making uh, this little piece right here so it's just a little um, it's a little like bronze piece that goes on the end you can see it on on the uh, picture here of Asta's grimoire holder it's the same color as this it's the same color as the belt buckle uh, it's just the brass uh, metallic marker that I used so yeah you just cover that it's all good it's all nice then we can move on and you simply want to uh, make these little X pieces. So what I did was I cut out these X pieces at an angle. You can see it in the video. What I did here was I made eight pieces of this of these like black strips. I made eight of these, uh, four for each side. Pretty easy. They just go over one another, and um, it just looks like they're weaved in. It looks like they're kind of stitched, and it looks pretty nice. I think uh, the back one I didn't really focus on too much. It was more about the front piece, making sure that looks good. Um, and yeah, so they're kind of pushed in to the uh, actual foam here, just to make it look like they're really part of the actual piece. <laughs> Alright 
guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Absolutely smash the like button and just comment below whatever you think your favorite part of Black Clover is this season. Uh, I guess it's not really a season, it's an ongoing thing, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, just your favorite part of Black Clover, ever. Just just simple, simple comment, comment down below. Be awesome. That'd be absolutely awesome. Um, guys, honestly, this is a pretty good build. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I think it's a pretty good, is it predecessor to the, I think it's predecessor. I don't know. Sod it. Um, it's a pretty good video to follow on from my grimoire holder, which I made like, last year so a year later i think this is a pretty good build to go along with it um and honestly it, why would you have a grimoire holder and not have a grimoire if you don't have a grimoire yet check it out in the description below guys i hope you enjoyed the video smash the like button subscribe if you're new and i will see you in the next one subscribe to my patreon below